Hey everybody, it's three guys with three things. Mike, go. Well, Larry, the Packers are going to be facing a different Washington quarterback this week because of Carson Wentz's injury. It'll be Taylor Heineke. Turns out the Packers know plenty about him because he was the starting quarterback for Washington last year when that club came to Lambeau Field. And who was the leading rusher in that entire game for both teams? Taylor Heineke. He rushed for 95 yards with his scrambling ability outside the pocket, all that. The Packers have to be prepared for that type of quarterback, and they haven't really faced one like that since week two, Justin Fields for Chicago. Wes, you are up. Yeah, Larry, I think this game against Washington really comes down to physicality, and it's going to be one in the trenches. When you look at Washington, four first-round picks that they've invested into their defensive front, that's going to be a lot for Green Bay to contest with. But conversely, the Packers still feel like they have a lot to prove on that side of things. And listening to Kenny Clark talk on Wednesday, mentioning the sense of urgency this group feels right now, wanting to not only set a tone early, but then carry that into the second half. The Packers defense feeling like they have a lot to prove, and it starts in the trenches. Guys, I've got a new thing to look forward to on game day, and that is Keyshawn Nixon returning kicks. He is tougher than the guys, those zealots who are covering the kicks. And that one return on Sunday against the Jets, one more block and he's going all the way. We used to have a saying back in the day that kickoff coverage makes cowards of us all. Well, when Keyshawn Nixon is the return man, that's doubly so. And that's three guys with three things. See you next time.